I'm not going to pour all of it. I'm just going to pour a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to ruin it. Hey, oh, man, it's just beer. Have fun. Exactly. Have a good time. Chris loves to have a good time. That's what he's known I, for. Well, also, I like sour stouts, too. So. I Look know. at the color of it. You're a freak. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you're a freak. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back again here at Dark Sky Brewing. Uh, I'm back here with my friends, Jeff, Chris, and joining us today, our buddy Ryan. Yay. Yay. So, right, who, who are you and what you do? Yeah, I guess Chris does better for the record. I Golf, am a uh, co-owner, uh, do a lot of stuff, brewery owner guy. Um, <laughs> the long we, have a, we have a huge team of people now, and like I can't take credit for any of it. You know, it's, it's all of us together, so I am one, of, one piece of many. Yeah, one, one piece of the machine. Yeah, the, the first well, time well-oiled machine. First time, my first time here at Dark Sky Brewing, and it is awesome. Loving it in here, man. This is great. Thank you. This is great. I do like it. So, uh, first of all, we should kind of describe what this place looks like for people that's never might not actually be here or actually here, and then want to come here. So, how big is your system total? Uh, we brew three barrels at a time, which is roughly like 120 gallons of wort. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we so do we do lose quite a bit, so we end up with like five barrels of finished beer if we double batch mm-hmm. which is what all those big tanks are gotcha so that's what we're looking at right now here in the uh the main area it's it's awesome man get a, that a fooder there yeah so yeah. we were the we were the second people 12 west can't claim that because we got ours before <laughs> oh nice no, good yeah. all right that's awesome so it's you, all nice and shiny so you walk in the door there's actually two different ways you can go right so you can go to the left and there's kind of some barrels and you can actually see the brewing equipment and if you go to the right you actually see kind of the is that more the main area of the yeah so uh kind of to start at the beginning we were only on the that's, i guess the north side of this really? uh this used to be just like a retail shop like she sold blankets and gotcha. shit like that but uh, <laughs> so we we knew here. like we were just we we started on four three barrel fermenters mm-hmm. like we had no capacity. We were brewing as fast as we possibly can, which is why we brew so many beers. Right. <laughs> it just became habit. And now it's like, if we have to brew the same thing, we're like, God damn it, I don't want to do that again. Get bored with yeah. it. Yeah. But That's yeah, awesome. so we started on that side. Uh, one, you know, the brew house and then four fermenters. And then we knew we had to come over here. So that was phase one. Mm-hmm. Then phase two was uh, two more big guys there. And then the fooder <laughs> came in. So okay. we, we basically 300%. Topped, I guess in one year. Nice. So was that awesome. an, was that an expectation? Like when you were just on one side, did no. you guys have any we idea that happen. your neighbors? We were just were talking split? about this the other day, and <laughs> my wife, myself, and uh, Nick, who's the other co-owner, who I don't know if you guys have met yet, but no, unfortunately not yet. So when we started this, like we got real drunk one night in the backyard, which I guess that's where all dreams start. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. So we we had this business plan. It was more like nobody really remembered much of it, but I do remember. If we sold six pints an hour, we could cover our overhead. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy a couple. Yeah. Hopefully we'll sell a couple. We'll that's, sell a couple. That's, th- that's probably a more involved there. business plan than most people have. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So it was it was a lot of learning as we went. And uh, I mean, as you know, like our first day we opened, it was like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. We got to do something like fast. So really? yeah, that was six months later. We took over the spot. <laughs> Wow, nice. That's awesome. What a great problem, though. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, uh, are, we've. Uh, how is it, uh, I mean, three years now, mm-hmm. and uh, how, how long has the second side been open? Uh, two years. We opened two this years. on our one-year anniversary. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe I'm wrong. No, that was two-year anniversary. Nice. Whatever. I, uh, I don't even know what day it is anymore. Right, so. I know, right? <laughs> now, you've got, now you guys have brewed over 300 beers? Yep. What is you guys' philosophy? I guess we already discussed, you know, boredom. But I mean, do you do you have any like, uh, do you have any like anything you're thinking when you go into the process of what's next? Well, we hired Kristen now, so she keeps all of us dumbasses in line. <laughs> okay. But before it was just like Nick and I would go in the back and like just start counting bags of grain. You know, we would just make shit up like right. when we're out of stuff. So it's like make kitchen sink beer, I guess. Right. There you go. Yeah. And that doesn't work out all the time. We learn yeah. we learn lessons real fast that like yeah. we shouldn't do that. I was gonna say. <laughs> well, what I was gonna say is so people. I mean, so people that don't know, you guys brewed, what, at least, was it over 300 beers your first year open? Uh, 100 every year we've been open. So okay. we're, we're at 300 total. one so, now. So awesome. That's And that's pretty amazing. Yeah. About the, with the amount that you just said, actually, you, you start with your brew system, how small it was to, yeah. to make that. Of all those, was there one that was like, 
ah, this wasn't that great. This wasn't. I mean, oh, there's a bunch. <laughs> there's a bunch. Are there any mostly that, in the first year? Right. We kind of avoid that list now. Yeah. <laughs> when we run out of ideas, we'll go back to like the wall and like go through stuff, and it's like, oh god, that was horrible. So what do you do when that happens? Do you chuck it? Do you like give tons of growlers out to your buddies? Here, drink this. Honestly, like people love a lot of that stuff. Maybe I just like yeah, a little hard on yourself. I've become, yeah, I've become yeah. very partial to what we do here now because this last year we've we've done pretty well. And, mm-hmm. You know, we've grown past that. Yeah, I'm right. I'm the same way with my homebrew. I'm you. You end up being your own worst critic. It's like, oh, this is horrible. Don't drink it. People are like, no, this is really good. It's, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Says who? Yeah. Right. So was there one that you kind of thought of like? This, there's no way. Yeah, for several. <laughs> was there one that was like, there's no way this is going to be good? And he said people actually really liked it. Like, what was the most surprising one that stands out? We made yeah. a, a saison with celery root puree once. <laughs> it was actually pretty good, but like. I don't know. That one was very, very strange. If you like savory stuff, it was like right up your alley. Okay. That was actually beer 100. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Celery puree. That's awesome. That'd, be a, good, that'd be a good beer to dump into like a Bloody Mary or something. No, you know? totally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. People could tell we were running out of ideas at that point. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So was, was there one that stood out where you're, it was it was actually the exact opposite? We were like, there's no way we was going to like this and everybody just loved it beyond belief. There's so many that like, think about like the pepper beers right. that we make we make a lot of them mm-hmm. um and those are always kind of like er, well it's pretty fucking hot hope you like it <laughs> <laughs> hope uh, you like hot stuff we actually have one on right now called collab your nation so Kristen knows a guy that works at fat bottom brewing in nashville which mm-hmm. is where cbc is right now right so they contacted us about doing a nationwide collaboration thing mm-hmm. with 12 different breweries across the united states and we were one of them cool so we're on tap i guess in some way in nashville right now very cool but okay. that one's got jalapenos and chipotles in it, and it is pretty fucking hot. Like, it, yeah, yeah, it'll smoke you. I hate hot beers. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, they just don't agree with me. No, we have to try one now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't try it. Sure. Just try it. No. Yeah, I'm not gonna not try it. Speaking of which, what are we all drinking right now? I guess that's probably yeah. Good. Uh, I decided I wanted the ultraviolet, and then you guys were super unoriginal. Each of you, <laughs> followers, except Ryan. He yeah. said he said it was a sour with boysenberry, and I was like, I'm in. That's that yeah. boysenberry, blueberries, it's a nice way to start. It's like a breakfast drink, you know. Yeah. Like, Brunch I didn't say it's a sour, and I'm like, I trust you guys, and they're going to slag me. So way, to, way to be a dick about it, Nate. Oh, that's my style. I'm trying to pay you, you know. a compliment, and you just shit all over me. What are you drinking, Ryan? Uh, Mountains Mosaic. This nice. is the one we make most often. Okay. It's a flagship. Yep. We're big fans. I like what, that one. Now, I like a question I like to talk to, you know, when I'm talking to brewers, uh, your flagship, when did you guys come up with that? <laughs> or was well, it one of 100? This is another one that, like, we we had a kettle sour going. Didn't sour because those idiots first wore opted, and I told them not to. They'll, they'll, they'll never live that story down. <laughs> but um, so we ran over to the lumber yard and, and Gene over there was nice enough to give us 11 pounds of mosaic hops. Nice. And we're like, all right, we'll use a couple pounds in this like halfway sour Saison thing. Uh, turned out great. Beer was awesome. But then we were left with eight pounds of mosaic. So we're like, fuck, let's just throw it all in that beer. Mm. And here we are. Nice, <laughs> nice, perfect. We started with a three barrel batch, which you know, a little yeah. little guy. Make sure what you know it wasn't horrible. People loved it. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Came a flagship. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, we we brew six barrels of it like every two weeks. Oh wow! Um, and it's gone before the next batch can make it nice. back out of the tank. So another nice problem. This town yeah. loves IPAs. Yeah. yeah. How is the support here in town for a dark sky? Oh, uh, it's great. We, yeah. I mean, obviously, you guys know we have a. Pretty awesome little brewing community here and like yeah. craft beer bars and stuff. So. We've been here for 40 minutes and several people have been turned away from your doors because you have altered hours for the day. So yeah. obviously people are excited to get in here. Yeah. Well, that and the slogan on the window, I guess, too, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, no, it's, this town really does drink a lot. That's good. <laughs> that would be very evident tonight. That's awesome. <clears throat> Perfect. We'll fit right in then. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, so kind of jumping back maybe to more of the opening. So you said you had that place, mm-hmm. that, that side. What was it like actually getting to that point? Like, where, like, did you actually scout other places in the, in the flag? Yeah, that's or? actually the hardest part that people don't tell you about is like just searching for a location that works. And one night we we're just walking to dinner because we li- we live like a block that way. Oh, nice. So it's the gift and the curse to be so close <laughs> to this place. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were walking by and like all of a sudden we saw this for rent sign in the window that wasn't there before. So my wife and I called and uh, we actually knew our landlord through our previous business. We were contractors in town um, and he also is. Okay. So we just hopped on board with him and kind of piggybacked on his building permit. So like save some money there. And right. mm-hmm. it just, I don't know, it was very serendipitous, I guess, that it all worked out the way it did. But awesome. uh, we did all the work in here. Um, <clears throat> my wife designed the entire place. I built all the tables, the that wall there, the bar, 
Pretty cool. We do everything here yeah, ourselves. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so great. That's that that's the, some of the best parts of some of our favorite breweries, the people that just do it themselves. Man. Yeah. You I love that. Yeah, it's a very uh white collar or blue collar. Blue collar. Blue collar yeah. uh industry, you know, like right. we're not afraid to get dirty and Break yeah. some things and well, break it's, some it's things. It's cool when you have the ability to <laughs> break shit. You know, basically do your own sweat equity because mm-hmm. it's hard enough. You know, to come up with the capital to open a place. Oh yeah, it's like like you know, Greg, Greg at BRI yep. out there. Same thing. You know, that guy's always doing construction and coming up with stuff for their place. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a uh, it, it's it's a lot of work, but I mean, we save so much. You know, yeah. capital. Yeah, and knowing support. knowing that you know some contractor's going to come in here and just yeah. you know rape you on you know, you know yeah. what materials cost from doing it, and then yep. the guys come in here and give you a quote, and it's like, <laughs> what? Yeah, nice try. <laughs> try again. So leading up to actually open up your doors when you finally got those keys and you was ready to let people in, how how was that? Was that what was that like? Uh, it was terrifying because none of us had actually worked at a bar before, <laughs> so we we kind of just like you know throw ourselves in the deep end without floaties and that's so awesome though figure it out i mean i don't know i I consider myself like a person who has a phobia of looking like a total dipshit so like we try really (laughs) hard to not look Look like an idiot you know so like that's a little prep is one way yeah Yeah. (laughs) that's awesome yeah i mean we've been preparing for this since january wow yeah wow you know the idea like what beers we wanted to do all that stuff was like a long time ago you guys got merch for it and everything Mm -hmm. i mean that's awesome I mean, you have to plan on stuff. I mean, it's it's one thing that we kind of learned too with actually doing our collab with the, the shop we did. It, it, it takes some time. There's some. Yeah. It's a lot of planning, it a lot of talk back. It's up. a lot of timing and logistics and, and just in general. So, yeah, it makes sense that you guys plan way that far out. So. Yeah. Any Pretty other uh, major projects in plan for the brewery right now? Or uh, well, um, we have a warehouse on the west side of town that's about three thousand square feet big tall ceilings nice the original plan was to put a bigger brewery in there mm-hmm. um Kristen's gonna hate me for saying this but i really don't want to build another brewery again yeah <laughs> so uh what we're talking about now we have this fooder and we kind of know how to use it i mean it was a little scary when we first got it but um i really want to turn what that is over there into just like a sour warehouse nice. you know like barrels yeah. bottle conditioning like that Agreed. sort of stuff yeah, yeah. Right. i like that idea <laughs> good call yeah just seeing you know where the industry's going right now i mean you got like green flash closing up on the east coast you got hard people to, laying people off every right. week now. it's hard to want to take out a big loan and build a brewery I it's bet. to me it just almost makes no sense and I, I like i like when i can go to a place and get a beer that was brewed like that week yeah right oh i know I the way you guys that, do oh, it it's so fresh stuff i mean that's our gift is like we're able yeah. to turn it and it's gone in two weeks you look know? at right. the system it's you don't right. have you don't have you know hundred you know million gallon tanks here up to the ceiling so yeah it's awesome you guys can turn it around that fast. Yeah, it's 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 a lot of work. I mean, we move a lot of beer, and Kristen wasn't used to it, but we <laughs> we ferment beer in about seven to ten days, like brew date a package. That's awesome. Dang. Nice. And she's like, this Fresh. shouldn't work. I swear. I'm like, you just got to trust me. It, it works well. Uh, yeah. It works really well. It's my, Well, you know, it's funny. I guess from, from this side of the table, it's uh, I think sours are kind of like, Make, make it a comeback. I think a lot more people are actually getting into sours because mm-hmm. I think when they were kind of popular a few years ago, people really didn't give it a shake. So I think now people are more getting into it. So it's it's definitely uh, there's a lot of learning going on right now. Like what you guys have in front of you, that's a you know quote kettle sour. Right. Those yeah. are easy, kind of boring. But our back room over there, which you guys haven't seen, but that's where the old brewery was. That's all sour barrels now, mm-hmm. okay. mixed culture beers, if you will. Nice. Um, Ten to twelve month time waiting on those awesome uh we got that cool thing sitting right there that's uh it's got two cultures of brett in there now um yeah i mean we just we've learned a lot you know went through a lot of bad barrels dumped a whole bunch of beer yeah to figure it out and now we've pretty much got it does dialed that in. that's got a sting to this just pour it actually doesn't it's it does what when you say you have to finally do it but once it's gone you're like oh right now we have like this empty Space. barrel we can yeah clean it and refill it with something that we know is going to be better. Right. I mean, you guys probably know being, you know, in beer that it's very, very sensitive these days. Like if you put out a bad beer, they're going to let you know and they will yeah. never forgive you for it. So. Right. Or worse, they won't let you know and they will never forgive <laughs> they, you for They won't yeah, let right? you know. Honestly. They won't yeah. let you know to your face, but they'll rip you 10, 10 different new ones all over the internet. Yeah. <laughs> we see that and it's like, it's hard to tell your friends what's going on here, man. Yeah. What happened? Right. But, yep. Getting, you said you, at this point we're three years in, right? Mm-hmm. Have, what is one of the biggest like progress moments you guys had since opening those doors? There's a lot, you know, like probably a lot of little ones. Yeah, you know, a lot of little victories. Yeah, I mean, I 
typically want to burn this place down once a week. <laughs> be honest. Everybody else out there should be honest about that shit too. Yeah. Um, hey, if you love it, you can hate it. That's kind of how it works, right? Exactly. But that's so yeah, funny, it's, man. You know, you, you work so hard for it, you know, it should be rewarding in some way. And it is a lot of times, you know, like we have a, an amazing staff. These, these people are great. And like we yeah. love providing a living for them. And I think, I guess that's like the most rewarding part is every week just seeing how happy they are. And, you know, they're all yeah. hanging out in here and stuff. So yeah, working at one of the best breweries in the area. Yeah. It's awesome. How can you not be excited to come to work? I mean, shit, they stay here when they're not working. Right. You know, exactly. just hanging out. So yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. I guess that is a good sign of like, loving where you work at because i mean there's definitely times where i'm like it's a minute and i'm gone and yeah. i'm out that's a job like yeah. that it was the worst and so and there's other jobs where like i don't mind i don't look at the clock as much as i used to i like, just yeah. don't even care anymore yeah so. oh, that's awesome makes a huge huge difference for sure yeah so what is the latest can release you guys did so we do we have two today that's uh right. well th- one was last week which was a uh, uh kettle sour goza with hibiscus and guava Toast yep. goes right. Yeah, so it's like looks like pink lemonade. Tastes like pink lemonade. Yeah, it's super. That good. would look good. That would yeah, look we good. still have cans of that left. Oh, nice. Uh, it's on draft tonight Sweet. as well. Um, it's gonna be a good night. We did a double IPA with local honey and dry hopped with Amarillo Mosaic and Citra, called Cheat Codes. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, we have four pack cans of that. It's called Only in Dreams. It's basically our three hundredth beer. Awesome. Um, and then Cielo Oscuro was a beer that we did with Ian uh, at Ground Control again. Okay. So he provided the coffee, kind of talked about the recipe and where we wanted to go with it. But uh, it's yeah. more like Southwestern theme this year. Okay. Uh, you guys have last last year's yes. rendition. We'll talk about that in a second. Absolutely. Right. Um, but this year's was uh, his coffee, Brazilian beans, blue agave syrup, chipotle, vanilla, and cassia bark. Holy cow. It's uh, almost 12%. And we actually went, drove down to Tucson. I did a, a one day there and Holy back. Holy cow, I was going to say, that's uh, a hike for you. Grabbed a whole bunch of Delbach barrels. So we have one that's in their standard whiskey barrel and then two of the smoked barrels that we're going to add back into another regular whiskey barrel to age uh, probably for like a year or so, maybe Man. like beer week or something. Holy cow. I was going to say the whole time I've been here, like looking at you, I can see that like where my eye I'm just like, oh, that, well, that sounds that, awesome, man. man. Yeah. excited about that. Yeah, so, you know, try to keep it all like Arizona-ish. Mm-hmm. You know, Southwest provides some really cool stuff. Yeah. You guys just recently got your own canning uh, machine, right? Yeah. So it's uh, this company called October makes a really cool, like, single head seam. They are sweet. I mean, we I we, follow them on Instagram. I'm like, I want to buy one of yeah, those. Yeah. It's for my home, bro. <laughs> it's super fun. So we bust out like 104 packs in a couple yeah. of hours. Like, it's really not that big a deal. Yeah. Oh, I love the I love the, the can labels you guys have come up with so far. Who's doing that stuff for you? Or is uh, that my, all my wife does all that. I love that stuff. Yeah. Cool. The uh, Beach Boy. I mean, there's yeah. there's a bunch of great. really good ones. Yeah, yeah. These two that she did for this are uh, pretty awesome. I just like and, and you know I like it when I love it when I see a brewery catch a style with their labels and yeah. just kind of stick to it and it, they look good. I like those a lot. They, for a while we were ripping off the rare barrels uh, style. Gotcha. Kind of went away from that. It's, yeah. it's an homage. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> it's it's form of flattery. Yeah. Right. No, I, I, I'm excited. To, well, I'm especially excited now. We're, we're gonna, we have a hotel room. We're not going to be going anywhere, man. So oh yeah. We're gonna, it's going to be here for the long haul. Awesome. It's exciting. Yeah, I got a bunch of live music tonight too, so it's just going to be a pretty awesome night. Nice. We also brought jackets because we're wussies. Yeah, it's gonna, he texted. It'll, it'll get cold tonight. He texted me last lie. night. He sent me a photo of the weather. He's like, "You should bring a jacket, dude." He <laughs> said it, it was snowing he, two days ago. He just sent me that because he knows I'm an idiot and I wouldn't. He's probably, he's probably surprised I wasn't wearing. It wasn't snowing shirts. two days ago. It was a full on blizzard. Really? Oh, no shit. shit. It was ridiculous. That sucks. And it's it, like uh, I come from. Like Maine, I'm, I'm going in That's shorts, but I'll be ready to change into pants yeah. if I need to. It doesn't tough it out. You look cooler that way. <laughs> <laughs> There's always pussies out here. Yeah. I'll just I'll just stick to the high ABV stuff. I'll be warm. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> exactly. Right. Anybody listen, it's May fourth, by the way. In case anybody's yeah. wondering, yeah. this isn't December. It's, it's May. It's May fourth. The the mountains are very snow peaked. Another sad person just walked away from that door after they read that close sign. They're like, "What the? They should be sad. They should be stoked. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Four o'clock. This place is gonna. They're like, be "What the fuck me. am I gonna do for the next four hours of my life? <laughs> go home. Sit told there. I'll be comfortable. Till, I'm not till, coming home till they go around the corner and they, they post. OMG, Dark Sky Brewing closed. Nah. Yeah. They went out of business. One, yeah. one star. You yeah. went star. Yeah, one star. <laughs> fuck this place. They didn't tell anybody about this shit. Yeah. So anyway. worst brewery ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beer fans aren't volatile like that. Craft beer fans aren't volatile like that. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 I think it's time for another beer. I, 
I mean, or at least a, at least a talk. Or actually, you know what? Let's talk about what you said. Or, or we did we already? We need no, to discuss we need, this. We need yes. to come up with this. Let's, we need to let's this. talk. Uh, so this was the first beer we did with Ian. Um, Another glass we have drinking here, by the he way. He also provided the coffee, but this was his his baby, I guess, in a way. Um, he's a big fan of Toppling Goliath. Knows all the guys out there. Right. Uh, they make a beer called Morning Delight, which is maple syrup stout. Gotcha. Uh, so we kind of wanted to go for that similar feel. That beer had like zero maple syrup character until we put it in that barrel. And now it's just really? like, it's... Just pull it right out. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm tasting yeah. it big time, man. I feel like I'm recreating the scene in Super Troopers. Yeah. <laughs> chugging a bottle of maple. It is. Uh, it's pancakes in a glass for sure. Is it where I want to take this beer and pour into the other, other beer? Let's mix them together. Ooh, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Berries and syrup? It yeah. is weird. I mean, come yeah. on. That's true. Why don't you go ahead and do it? I will. Don't worry about it, Nate. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you're not my, it's tool you're bo- my father. It's toolbox all over again. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. I'm not going to pour all of them. I'm just going to pour a little bit. <laughs> going to ruin it. <laughs> hey, man, it's just beer. Have fun. Yeah. Exactly. Have a good time. Chris loves to have a good time. That's what he's known I, for. Well, also, I like sour stouts, too. So. I Look know. at the color of you're it. You're a freak. Yeah. Well, you're we, a freak. <laughs> we did a, we did a <laughs> SoCal. I hate sour stouts. Dude. We did a SoCal brewery trip mm-hmm. and, you know, we're sitting at Toolbox and we're drinking, you know, they had like these crazy Imperial Stout and these crazy sours that me and Chris were drinking. Like, and Chris, is, Chris is like, we should mix these. And Nate's like, you guys are embarrassing me, man. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't mix those fucking beers. You guys are embarrassing me. I don't know about that. And then, so we were doing it and, yourselves. and like the bartender was like, shit. Yeah, that's a great idea. And we're like, mm-hmm. we're like. Fuck you, Nate. You know what? <laughs> you're, you're the weirdo. I won't be held down. <laughs> I'm, I'm on Team Sour Stout. Sorry. It was, uh, that's okay. That's all was, right. It was really A lot good. of people are on Team Sour Stout. Trust yeah, me. I'm gosh. probably uh, I'm a, I'm a minority. Yeah. How is it? That's good. I that's it? Wanna, that's, pour, all wanna, for, pour, that's it for tasting notes? I want to pour more of this in the dough. It's good. I don't want I don't want to waste all this, but I really like want to. Mad scientist over here. Yeah, yeah. Right? Got to enjoy it. Have fun. What did you say? <laughs> Why not? Chris, the mixologist. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Well, I'm excited because I have a I have a bottle at Double Barrel Stout sitting nice. in my in my fridge. So yeah, that beer uh, it, it had a lot of hype behind it, and uh, it it proved itself well. I think it's it's it sold out quick. Yeah, five very minutes quick. on the internet or yeah. something. That's so awesome. I thought that was ridiculous. It, it was a good Eventbrite sale too. It went nice and smooth. Yep, that's good because I mean, it, I guess it's it's kind of a good sweet spot, right? Because if you hit it in Brent Bright when it's like. A billion just people hammered. Just, it just hammered. Just a can't get a oh, he, he was right. shitting bricks. I will tell you that. I know. I know. I was he getting was. texts all morning. Like I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm like fuck, go for it. <laughs> uh, fuck, go for send it. it. Send it. Send it. Hit live. We're That's live. awesome. All right, guys. We'll be right back. We're gonna go get another beer. Sounds good. You're gonna buy a shirt that says hop shits. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. We're just, we're just an arrow pointing straight down. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Exit. Here. You get one beer now somewhere. Hilarious. Do not go in the pool if yeah. you've had hop shits. Yeah. Last yeah. Week. yeah. You're like, if I you had, have had hop shits in the last two weeks, I've do had not normal swim. shits, but I haven't had hop shits in four days, so I'm okay. Nice. <laughs> That's like the. It's coming out of me yeah. like lava. <laughs> I got normal shits, just not hop shits. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we are recording, I imagine. Yes. Yeah, we oh, are yeah. back. And uh, yeah, we are having a hilarious conversation about hop shits, or at least a pop potential beer name. Yes, so it's, wow. it's, it's a real thing. It worked out. How, what kind of beer would that be? A uh, hoppy one. Ryan, you made lots of beers. What kind of beer would that be? Is it a West Coast or is it like a juicy New England? <laughs> oh, it's got to be New England. I yeah. It's got to yeah. look like hop shits. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, you lost me a juicy. It's, <laughs> it's a nice, juicy, <laughs> shitty IPA. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just take. So like that, my name is Mud from Wilderness. The hell yeah, 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 the bottom. Yeah. You just take that and just make a beer. It's a lot of, of that. It's a lot of clumped at the bottom of that beer. 60-40 of that. Perfect. <laughs> oh man. The <laughs> tagline from the can is like dare you to sneeze. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to cut this part of the show out. That is not our cool lab beer, in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay. Uh what's some of uh what are some of DSB's favorite collaborations? We had a lot of good ones this year. Yeah. Um We've made a lot of friends in the last couple of years. It's been fun. Uh, the guys at 12 West are, are awesome. Yeah, Noel's, we love those Noel's guys. great dude. Uh, BRI is great. I personally have a really good connection with Goldwater. Uh, Jordan, who brews for them now, used to brew at Mother Road. <clears throat> and he's a great kid. Like, yeah, he's a good dude. So young, but like he's an old soul. You know, Works really hard. Yeah. Helton, obviously, like we have fun with those guys too. You guys came down for like a collaboration tour. At, at at beer week, didn't you? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I think we just have this bad habit of like 
planning do it well well, that well it was planned well this year it was i was like i was like damn dark sky is like on a on like a tour right now of collaborate there you guys hit up uh please tell me all the ones so uh uh, that week was really crazy so we did bri first drove back up here uh no shit 12 west came here drove right back down there did helton and then Goldwater right after that. That's awesome. I remember seeing. Oh yeah, that was like a crazy boil on your on your uh, Goldwater uh, brew, right? Crazy. What, shh, whatever. We do that with the vet beer every single time. Really? Astro wow. Cookie is a four hour boil. I was gonna say it's a four hour boil on that one right there, right? Holy yeah. cow! Well, the, the list of ingredients was like insane. Yeah, we put like everything in. Yeah, there. it was like that was <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it's like that's a, it's a page. So yeah, and um, so for the last year, what stuck out for you? Uh, I mean, if any. I mean, like you said, you've made a lot of good friends. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I guess um, the culmination of all that during Beer yeah. Week was really great. Right. Um, we've kind of learned our lesson with Beer Week as well. It's it's more like Phoenix Beer Week. It's not Arizona Beer Week. Nobody comes up here. Right. We're trying to change that, though. So yeah. uh, Alex Phillips and I are on, on the board together for Northern Arizona to try and, like, Get people to drive people up here. here. And come oh, hang hey, out. So first of all, it's Alexander is what we learned oh, yeah. in a last trip. The fifth, <laughs> yeah, it's Alexander. He likes yeah. Be, that's, his, yeah. that's his fancy name. He likes to be called Alexander. So, so yeah, we're we're gonna try and like you know course people to come up here. Yeah, we do the same thing. Like we just block out like five days and just go down there and post up. That's awesome. I'm talking shady hotels. We had a real crazy one. Yeah, <laughs> tell, please tell us all about it. Yeah. So we were out off the I ten and like. I don't even know. Like it was almost a ground control, <laughs> like middle of it. nowhere. Okay. And it's we California. couldn't find this hotel. It was behind all these warehouses. It was just all by itself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it worked out fine. The pool. He's like, uh, we like had our swimming shit on, like towels and stuff. He's like, boys, the pool's a hole. <laughs> Fuck. So that was out. Uh, but Some, someone must have swam in it after with diarrhea within exactly. the last two Ooh, weeks. Yeah, <laughs> had to drain it. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, that's so funny. So yeah, I mean, like great people that run that place. Like I shouldn't talk shit. It was it was a fine yeah. hotel. Um, see sorry, Bill, we don't we didn't say the name. You see Bill Murray in there in a hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> takes a bite. Of, takes a bite. <laughs> so yeah, that we we stayed way out there. Um, we had a big event at Kings with Tombstone. Like did a huge tap takeover. It was like yes. forty something beers between the two of us. That Holy was a fun cow. night. Uh, that place gets crazy well, busy. Yeah, we, we, was, know, we, we actually we tried to make that in. We we, we, uh, we we tried to make the four the the assorted four pack release. Right, only missed it by a day. Missed it by a day. We literally got there <laughs> and we're like uh, a four well, we, pack. We, no, we, like, there, we got there for all aboard the yeah. the, the, the hop type train. That was it. Yeah. So that night, I can't remember what else we did. Uh, Strong beer obviously was that Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, but after Strong beer, we went back to the hotel and like. We're just popping like huge whale bottles in the parking lot of the shitty hotel. That's awesome. In plastic cups. It was super fun. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So we're actually getting into uh, tonight's festivities, right? What, yeah. What's going on for tonight? What's, yeah, what, what's what is, everybody going to miss out on that listens to this show in a couple weeks? A whole lot. Good. Um, Good. I want everybody to so be we really have, jealous. We have three different barrel-aged beers we're releasing. I can't even list all the stuff that's over there. So, uh, so we have a coconut, vanilla, rum barrel, bourbon barrel stout. Um, if you had point three, it's similar beer. Is that the rhythm? Uh, yeah, feel the rhythm. Right. Uh, subduction is a port barrel, bourbon barrel blend with cassia bark and vanilla. So that tastes like a cinnamon roll. What is cassia bark? Is that just cinnamon? It's, it's basically cinnamon, cinnamon it's bark. Cinnamon. So what we found with cassia bark. I was going to say the cassia bark that is in this ultraviolet. I was like, I'm getting cinnamon like crazy. Where yeah, is so, that coming from? But it's what's cool about it is awesome. it's it's not um, – I find cinnamon powder to be like very abrasive. Yeah. Uh, you know, like almost bitter in a way, like if it gets out mm-hmm. of hand. That stuff, you can throw as much in there as you want. And it just – it tastes like more like bready cinnamon. Okay. Um, I was wondering, man, because I was like, I'm getting vanilla and cinnamon, but I just see vanilla – Vanilla and cassia bark, and I don't know what that is. Yeah, so yeah, it's uh, just basically Chinese cinnamon bark. Okay, awesome, fancy cinnamon. Uh, the third bottle is my personal favorite, but I love coffee stouts. It's a, uh, it's a lot of shit going on here. So it's a, <laughs> it's a red wine barrel that they finished um, Arizona distilling whiskey in for one year. Oh, shit. Um, it is a smoked stout, uh, and then we added uh, coffee from local roaster right down the street to it. Very awesome. So it's yeah, it's a really good beer. Nice. So far, yes, yes, Dang, yes. Yeah, so far excited. And then two four packs. Right. Uh the big stout we did with ground control and then double IPA. Nice. What's the name of the double IPA? Only in dreams. 
Guess we're speaking my language. I'm excited. Because we're leaving home. We're leaving here with a lot of beer tonight, huh? Yeah, it's kind of going to be. It's going to be expensive one. Yeah, but right. you know, it's okay. I'll take got, it. I'm prepared got, for it. Got yeah. my uh, insulated bottle logic bag. Yeah, I was going to say I brought, with, I brought with my ice packs in it. I'm ready to roll. Brought some Sweet. growlers. It's going to be good. <laughs> um, oh, shoot, merch. Right. You got merch as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, t-shirts. Like really fun uh, luau style hats. I was going to say because yes. that's the whole theme for this, right? It's kind yeah. of a tiki luau. Yeah, we were joking. I mean, obviously, it snowed two days ago. We were like, <laughs> yeah, right. we're going to have a Hawaiian party, and there's going to be a <laughs> foot of snow on the fucking ground. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. That's great. I'd be in for that. Yeah. Because I have an inflatable pineapple, for God's sake. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys are set. Yeah. Yeah. So, like yeah. I said, we started in January figuring this shit out. So, like, a lot of stuff. <laughs> My house has been, like, the UPS delivery headquarters. <laughs> like, just, I'd come home to piles of boxes out there. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, shirts. You said you had a, a tiku as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah stemless tikus. Uh, it's, like, 13-ounce glass. It's super cool nice our regular logo and then the three-year anniversary logo on the other side perfect Love and then it. nate's favorite the hat with the yeah Those are like hats. floral hawaiian print on the bill that guy enjoy them we have yeah. one with planets and galaxies on it i saw that what? one too yeah did not see that damn it yeah yep Keep well, I, probably, I probably should use that credit card before they have to yeah it's the for the roadway and it has their way with it dude do it and then uh call it in and say i did that wasn't me yeah. oh yeah oh yeah like i went to the roadway and then just went to dark sky brewing just down the street as if they didn't steal it and go there and then somebody would be like uh we've seen your charge before in the past <laughs> yeah. Sam Back. you're on camera there <laughs> yeah. damn it uh buying merchandise at breweries and beer that seems like something you would do we're we're going to allow this one yeah <laughs> that's awesome uh, food, you guys have a food truck out there as well. And then, yeah, it's it your food truck, right? Yep. Yeah, so we, we actually just took full ownership of that. Um, so we own it outright. That, that's been a, like I said, I think we just love to do things the hard way. And right. So now you're your own food truck owner. Yeah, there wasn't enough to do. So like, let's rebrand a food truck <laughs> and come out with a new menu right before anniversary. <laughs> that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it says hangry on the side of the truck. That's pretty nice. Yep. That's, that's yeah, you got shirts now. Yep. Yeah. It's awesome. Hangry shirts. It's great, nice. man. Beautiful. Uh, real quick, we did take a break and we got new beers. Oh yeah, we should talk about I went ahead and got my Mountains Mosaic because I'm a hop guy. And you guys got uh, Astro uh, Cookie. Fucking insert blank sound here. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Astro Cookie, best uh, <laughs> best brew yet per Ryan. And I also got Astro Cookie as well. And how is it? It's good. Wow. My tasting notes. It's it's amazing. <laughs> we do a show. <laughs> this is our forty fourth awesome. show. That's hundred percent true, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, actually, I fucking shit. I've Hopefully had this. Is. I've had this on tap at Tell Divided Vine beer, in the yeah, Valley, yeah. and yeah, it's like from the source. It's it's drastically different. Much better here. Good liquid cookies. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It's a straight up freaking Oreo juice. Nice. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> what do you what, what do you think of it? It it's good. It's good. I like I, it. I like I'll, it. I'll say this. The going <laughs> I like going from the other side of this one is definitely the def, you know, it, not step down technically, but step it's just down. Oh, it, I would it, totally agree with you. It's, it's not even in the same no. building. No, Nate's just not gonna put his lips all over Reaching around, grabbing it. Mi- hold it over the mixer. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. The beer the beer glass. <laughs> Talks the monkey yourself. We, yeah. No, no, we all have our pants on, I swear. <laughs> Cut as, that out. as Nate dies into Chris's glass. I know. <laughs> you can keep that down. <laughs> what ABV R- is this? Ryan, I'm going to need another beer. Is this, is this high enough ABV to kill what's, what's killing Nate? <laughs> Probably. All right, I'm healthy now. <laughs> Nate, how is it? It's oh. good. I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the fucking enthusiasm in my voice? I wasn't like, it's good. I, I, I like it. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good good one right there. Good yeah. rebuttal. Yeah. It's like mm. I had some like Yeah. You really got me. I like it. It's tasty. Enjoying that. Getting the cookie, getting the stout. I'm like enjoying it. It's good. Oreo so, cookies. So, so that basically is our, our base stout we fill all our barrels with now. Okay. It's very good. Yeah. Can't complain about that, man. <laughs> cookie beer. Yes, please. Barrel um, age astro cookie is coming this year. Nice. So it's just sitting in barrels right now. Yep. Yeah, we have uh, we have a couple really fun barrels from Park Plaza Liquor Deli. Uh, that Elijah Craig barrel right there, and then we have a Russell's Reserve barrel just like hiding around the corner. I love that you guys work with different places like that. Like you said, GCM Park mm-hmm. Plaza. I think I, I mean all the guys at GCM. We love those dudes. Yep. They're great people. So it's cool to see that. Yeah, they always post their their whiskey tasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, uh, I call dibs on that barrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, my whiskey collection at home is kind of ridiculous now so what they do is like i don't know if you guys know much about this but um the park plaza guys will fly out to kentucky and like take a whole tour of like all that stuff 
Uh, Chris, I think, gets him shipped in because um, mm-hmm. he's a one-man wrecking crew over there. Right. Um, but basically, they, they go through this whole tasting thing of a whole block full of barrels, and they pick which one they want. Okay. Then they hand label these bottles with like gcm stickers or park plaza stickers so all the bourbon that was in those barrels is now in bottles that they sell at their uh their spot okay and then they just give them the barrel that's crazy that's cool so then we take the barrel and put beer in. oh wow really that's awesome yeah they fill the bottles and the barrel that's crazy cool the uh the eagle rare barrel that we got from chris last time i shit you not there was a gallon of uh whiskey left in the bottom holy cow there, there was, was. <laughs> yeah. that, that is that very mo- past most, tense. Most of that made it into insomnia, hmm. which was our golden stout that we did for Arizona Beer Week. Also, nice, very cool. Overshadowed by High Country Brunch, which you have earlier. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, that, that one's cool. got a lot of hype behind it. Yeah, the gift Worth. of the curse, I guess. Yes. Worth it. Yes. So do you guys want, want to get in the rapid round? Yeah, let's do the rapid round. It's not rapid. Sorry, Ryan. It takes a while. It's ironic. All right, cool. Yeah. It's ironic that it's going back. <laughs> <laughs> we thought about changing it multiple times when we talk about this, but we can't because it's... Yeah, because we don't sit down and think about it, good ideas long enough. So. No, that's true. Are it. these uh, one-word answers or what am I doing here? No, no. So we, we, we always You'll say see. the okay. rapid round is as rapid as you want to make it. Yeah, you can, you can make it a one-word answer Sweet. or you can just just make the, it as long as The questions as you like. are usually rapid. The answers usually are not. Right. Yeah. Perfect. So this works. So there's no pressure to rush through these. <laughs> so the podcasty beer podcast most question ever in the world. What craft beer got you into craft beer? Ooh, uh, Black Butte Porter from yeah, Deschutes. Deschutes. Okay. Yeah. Is there is, is just because that's the one you have had, or there's a story behind that? Like you actually well, were at that store and we're like, that looks good. I mean, like all of us, I drank a lot of shitty beer for a while, and then finally, right. I uh, actually yeah. moving here uh, to go to college. Somebody was like, here, try this. I'm like. Dark beer. The Dark moment beer. I the moment I tasted, I was like, "Wow, that's kind of mind blowing." You know, the beer can actually taste that good. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know that. And then, like, as soon as you start getting like Dale's Pale Ale, Modus, right. like those yeah, quintessential Scott. IPAs from yeah. Colorado, it's right. like those are just like, yeah, big time. And here we are. Yeah, I think we 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 definitely drank a lot of uh, what was it the Deccan IPA from Scott? That one, like the, the strong beer fest when it used to be in Mesa, mm-hmm. the amphitheater there. Scott used to come there all the time, and we just hammered some decadent IPAs for yeah. the whole festival. Yeah, those, you didn't have to get drink, to drink yeah. tickets back then. That was so. even you know, long before the whole podcast thing, and we we're still created, like, treated like royalty. Mm-hmm. I, I used to run a horror review website called The Zombie Review, and I was wearing that shirt at the Strong Beer Fest I went to. And the guy pouring at Scott just happened to know that site, and he's like, you you like horror movies? And he's like waving us up to the front, and everyone's like, the fuck are these guys? You know, like, <laughs> Not to go off topic, but when you're in California, you go to Phantom Carriage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that place Shit, is cool. Yeah, yes, place we is did. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet vibe at that. At that Some spot. dude had a skeleton uh, hanging out with him at the bar while we were there. <laughs> so we were taking pictures with him and shit. It was <laughs> so fun. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, of they do some awesome sours. Yeah, of that all, place is great. Of all places where that wouldn't be a fucking weird thing to do. Yeah, no, that's perfectly normal. Yeah, right. it's normal. Standard. Yeah. Fucking yeah. love Phantom Carriage. Yeah, it's a cool, that little area over there. There's some good breweries in that little obviously That's yeah good luck opening a place in there right now yeah. right oh i bet jesus career suicide but like bottle logic has like two breweries open across the street from what well, we first one's went open. two years ago they just had their little spot right their one not little spot i mean they had a brewery about this size yeah you know that big but now they've got every building in that area you were saying yeah, right? they, bought, they bought three all the yeah. two next to them so they well, yeah we did buildings. the tour and i was like i thought you guys were just this one building and bottle logic owns like the fucking block oh as if it that. doesn't get hard yeah. to sleep at night when you're owning that much property, having that much stuff going on, man. I don't want it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I couldn't agree with you more, man. It's like, why build another brewery when you're doing so well? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. They're taking us to all these different rooms where it's like, you know, that it, times a yeah. hundred. And oh, it's yeah. like, holy shit, this is all. And yeah, it's it's literally like the whole block. It's yeah, it's pretty crazy. But, but yeah, they, they have two across the street. Bottle logic's one safe, road, but so. you know, it's like. Yeah, hopefully anybody. they don't grow too big too fast. But who would yeah. who would open matter across the are. street from them? Well, <laughs> yeah. The other problem is like Not me. I don't know. It might be a good thing. It right? I mean, if you're good, good. It is, that's well, the thing. I mean, they're good, but you mean Monkish has had to have the opportunity to expand. You think? But they don't. They, they don't. don't. But they don't. You well, think they'd have the opportunity? There's something to that. Oh yeah, they got lines out the ass for the mm-hmm. cans. Why do they want to produce anymore? They're probably making money hands over. Well, I mean, I mean, Jeff said he's a business guy. Like, what do you do? Like, do you expand over past what you can cover your overhead? Or do you stay small enough, pay off all your shit, and own all of it? 
Yeah. And just keep making the, the good stuff that people want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then run out of it. Because I think we're hard to argue cool with that, too. Man. And that's exactly. the thing is, is, you know, you have to have a good head for business. So you got the guys that are like, they're happy with their profit. And then you have the guys that make profit and they're like, no, you know, the, you know, they I have like this meteoric rise to, you know, becoming solvent. And then, and then all of a sudden it's like, grow, grow, grow. And then you outgrow yourself or you expand too fast like a green flash. And then next thing you know, you're declaring bankruptcy because- you expanded so fast and it's, oh, amazing. Like the, the entire freaking country isn't into our beers as much as we thought. Well, I so 100% agree with that method though, or that idea. It's like, keep it limited. Yeah. People love oh, limited yep. shit. It's ridiculous. Well, look, you at, make five gallons of a great beer. People are going to lose their fucking minds yeah. for it. Look at what Pure is doing. Pure Pure is they're pretty small too. Pure, pure yeah, right? pure beer. Always, it, yeah, I mean, they, that, it's like they a license wanna, to print money. And yeah, the, from what I gather, unless they've changed it since we've talked to them, they, it's like a co-op where they don't even I was own say, the they equipment. They brew in a group system. Yeah. So, so there's like some dude that opened a brewery oh, yeah. that like kind of so leases was, out. I was filled in by that. Somebody came in here from San Diego and they're opening a brewery and they're like, "There's a company that's going in and buying places like this, yep. splitting it two ways, and there's two breweries in one building." And yep. they just basically just share the equipment in the back. Well, yep. I'll say pure, pure like the the air that we're in right now, this little air, this is beer than what the oh, yeah, this tasting is, room is. Right. Oh yeah, this is it's huge. This is huge. This is double the size easily. Well, that's cool. I, I had no idea. I knew there was a hole in the wall. Yeah, pictures, and but, and they're killing it from oh, this yeah. table but, back. But again, I mean, from this table to the end of this table, I honestly mean is really their whole seating area. Yeah. It's very small. It's a tiny yeah. little tasting room. It's but quite yeah, small. they're slaying it, and and there's no indication that they're ready to. But I love you know that. take over that block. And I love that mentality though, man. It's just like because you're right people love limited things i can't say that enough yeah. it, it's it's just such an allure to people to have something that's gone yeah. no exclusivity is a, is a huge thing for beer yeah. so I mean, it's you guys are smart yeah. I mean, well what, what you makes, know it but what, you're what makes smart. sense to me is you know i can provide a working living for all of these people here right now like yeah. why would i try and, we've run into four great people since we've been here man yeah. it's, that's killer that's what we do and that's what i love about what we're doing yeah. you know it's for them it's plus, killer, man. plus some glory here and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's got to be awesome to be co-owner of Dark Sky Brewing in Flagstaff. That it's, can't be a bad gig. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have a lot of fun when we go down there and hang out with people. That's right. awesome, man. Love it. Yeah, Love that mentality. Then you have places like, well, right next to her in Monkish is Smog City, which they make great yeah. beers, yeah. but they're kind of overshadowed by Monkish. But if you know what, yeah, yeah, you have to know what you're doing, right? If yep. you know in that area, you, you got to know. Both you, of those. Yeah, you know, you got to know. You should go to Smog, yeah, right. for sure. We did, we did the north and back, so we did all the way up to El Segundo and then came backwards. Nice. Nice. That was a great day. Yeah, yeah. it's just Seriously. a crazy concentration of great brewers there because yeah. I mean they share a wall with Amplified Ales. Right. Which I still haven't been, but supposedly that's legit. That's got to be depressing to be. M- Mickler's <laughs> yeah. Mickler's a stone's <laughs> throw away. And they're killing yeah, it. Beachwood. Beachwood. Yeah. Beachwood. Beachwood. Oh, I want, I, Beachwood's probably my favorite spot. There. I can't wait to go to Beachwood someday, man. Beachwood barbecue. I want to try yeah. everything that got going on. So we did the barbecue on. and the blender. They're like a block away from each other. Ooh. Yeah, was so awesome. My yeah. wife's been pregnant for nine months now. So <laughs> nine and a half months, man. <laughs> You're almost so I, there. I can't fucking wait till she can drink and we can go to San Diego. So it's, I'm excited. Cool. So Deschutes, that's, that's a good beer. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The rapid round is good. Like, yeah. like we said. Like we were having a hard time. That was my fault. I got everybody off topic. Yeah, it's it's all, all good. Right. Hey, Th- I, this is typical. Yeah. I like it, man. I, it's, an, it's a really good conversation to have. Yeah. So the, the next one on the list is what is your moped beer? What is a beer? What is no, a beer? Nobody wants to see it with you, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, you like to drink it, but you don't want to see anyone to see you drinking it. A blue it. moon with a big old orange. <laughs> All right, here's How, here's the deal. I, I will fight Justin Evans to the death on this. Oh, good. I love I can't wait. PBR oh, is really? Hams. Uh-huh. Hams is PBR. It's I would same. disagree with that. No, it's the same Wholeheartedly. Beer. I swear to God. I know the guy that made it. Really? Yeah. Damn. Because I, I I used to think Pabst So PBR is shit. my thing, and now that like Hams is making this like huge, huge. fucking comeback. Oh, yeah. Like, Wandering oh, Tortoise is spearheading PBR that. Years. Oh, yeah. yeah. He dr- oh man, he Justin Heavens. Is- I love that guy, but yeah. man, I will beat him up over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the shit, but he, he, he does feel strongly about his hands. Yeah. So the, the, the story goes: we were having this conversation on the bike ride I was telling you guys about yeah. in Colorado, and uh, Bernardo, who's uh, in charge of uh, Avery's uh, floor, basically like the brew house floor, right. he brewed for uh, Miller, which makes PBR yeah. and all that right. stuff. And uh, my buddy Lee was like, fuck yeah, I love hams. PBR sucks, bro. And he's like, you know it's the same beer, right? He's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. 
He's no, he no. literally said it would come out of the same tank. They would just switch cans. <laughs> wow. Mid canning run, it would just be PBR cans flowing through there. Where's that exclusive button when we need it? Damn, man. Damn I can't it. wait to get back to that. We'll you definitely heard it here to, first. Are you looking we'll at me, definitely Chris? have to tag Justin Evans in this episode, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we, I got tagged in the one you guys do with him. I'm like, oh, is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck is up there doing that shit? Yeah. No, uh, we'll definitely have to tag. Be like, is, it, and definitely put that in the, uh, the, the episode intro. Is Paps uh, hams? But let's start the conversation. Yeah, let's, let's, let's. That is a conversation. We gotta have it. It's yeah. a people conversation. People gotta have. I think we should go to social media and do a poll on so Instagram. So, Pap. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> and Paps is your uh, Paps is your moped beer. It is. I love okay. PBR. Good. Did Sorry. You, did you try the uh, PBR apologies for APA it. they made? No. They made it. Not. They, <laughs> no. Made, they made it. <laughs> <a purist. laughs> Paps only. Blue Paps ribbon only. only. Yeah, it's, ribbon only. It's surprisingly good. That's what Jeff said. I just yes. haven't had it. It is. My tattoo guy gave me two cans, and I was I like, "Yeah, I'll try it." And it was like, "This is really not shit." The American Parallel. That's what he's using. Yeah. I haven't had it yet, and I don't hate PBR. I mean, I won't buy it, but I'm not going to turn it down if someone gives them to me. There's, but yeah. I, I was yeah. like, you know, he handed me this, and it's like, "Yeah, I'll try it." I'd have and to be thirsty. It, it was delightful. I'd have, there's no way I'm going to go. Oh yeah, let me try the new APA from Paps. Yeah, no, I'm not going out of my way to go. It's okay, weird. That's on tap here. It's weird it's having a. having a can in your hand with Paps on it and drinking it and be like, "Holy shit, those are hops." I'm, right. <laughs> I'm, yeah. <laughs> right. But I. But honestly, I'm excited to try Paps again because I had hams and I was like, "Fuck, this is good. This is a good lager." <laughs> Same here. I swear to God. I swear to God, dude. I was like, "This is fucking delicious." Like I'm drinking the Kool Aid big time, and I used to fucking hate Paps, so I can't wait to get back. Yeah. To every Just, time. Every time he types hams, I always goes asterisk PBR. <laughs> Like Just, Justin's in Phoenix right Justin now wondering why his chest hurts. He's like, something, yeah, there's something's a disturbance. <laughs> <laughs> something's <laughs> happening. I don't understand. We'll, we'll, go now, we'll go schedule an episode at Wandering now so we can discuss his the opinions rebuttal, on this. Rebuttal. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> perfect. Let's hear his response. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, PBR or like a good Mexican lager, like right. Tecate or Modelo. Or yeah. Or yeah. Or fine with me. Uh, so actually, Jeff kind of led into that. What, what is a beer that you would decline under any circumstance? Ooh. Hams. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck hams. No, uh, I would say like any Budweiser. Yeah. I, you know, you got Stra- <laughs> Hey, that's that like, Lime Marita. I was going to say Lime yeah. Lime Marita's. They, they figured that out. Bud Light Orange? They figured that out. <laughs> they nailed that. Did, didn't Mickey have like a stack out of that or something? Like, wasn't that a joke that he made? Like, What's that? Bud Light Orange. Oh. Oh, it's like with orange peel or something. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. With real orange, with real orange peel. <laughs> it's like neon orange though. It's yeah. awful. And like we split, sprayed plastic like orange a, peels. Looks like a uh, Mountain Dew Livewire can. For the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We so, sprinkled it, Cheetos cancer powder into this. Pretty much. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody in the Facebook group was like, "I took one for the team. And I tried one, guys. It tastes like oranges." I was like, <laughs> <"What's that? laughs> "I'm sure it did." <laughs> yeah. hmm. Fucking tang. They made weird. sure it did. Yeah. 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 Weird. Weird how that and works. they brewed it the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they still, always do, Nate. You know, we've talked to a lot of brewers now. I still, we still haven't figured out what is the hard way of brewing. A if beer. we're doing it, if, if anybody's doing it the hard way, Dark Sky Brewing's doing it the hard way. I mean, on this small it's a system. Hard. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I and, and and I mean that with utmost respect. I mean, you guys are doing it the hard way. I mean, you get two uh, two brews a day, five days a week, I more mean, or less. More or less. Last week was light. They're Mostly empty right now. Gearing so up for that's the probably going to bite our bite our <laughs> bite us in the ass this coming week when we're out of beer. Whoa, hey dude, right. you, can't, you can't fucking swear on this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> let's take it easy, dude. What the fuck are you doing? No, that's <laughs> awesome. I love that. <laughs> Jesus. So that's the hard way, Chris. They just argue the whole time that Budweiser. That's why it's the hard way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, what is your deathbed beer? Or and this is the alternative to this. What is your death row beer and meal pairing? Oh, Ooh. meal pairing. I like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a sucker for like good lambic. Nice. Like some Tree Fontaine. Yes. With like some shitty jail mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'm in. That's all I want. It's the mashed potatoes? Yep. Some Cheddar Bay biscuits. I want that 750 bottle though. Oh, okay. Well, well, there, there you go. go. Yeah. You're for smart. myself. Smartest person. Nobody's <laughs> ever said the amount of beer they'd wanted. That yeah. was the. That's great. true. That's the probably you're probably the yeah. first time to make sure. I don't want just a little bit. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> smell it. <and> the <laughs> thimble. Greatest yeah. greatest it's deathbed beer smell answer it. ever. Yeah. So it's lambic beer is kind of like my yeah. thing. Uh, Donnie, who works here, also is like big lambic dude. 
we actually just got back from Degard. Uh, we went in February. Was that was that a uh, religious experience? Experience second time there. This is really? like their new tasting room though, which oh, is okay. really really nice. Uh, but yeah, it's like they do some crazy shit. Anything they make, I'll. They had some tangerine sour and ne- nectarine sour from them. Just blew my mind, yeah. man. I can't wait to go up there someday. But that's when I was in Portland. I basically like messaged every like bottle shop liquor store I could find and see if they had any in stock. And they're like, nope, not in Portland. Yeah, yeah. not in really Portland. Yeah. Check these people out. And I was like, Tillamook's not that far away. Well, it's like an hour. So yeah, with the yeah, that's where Degard is. Ah, uh, okay. I just immediately started thinking about cheese and ice cream. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, people. that's the deal. You got to go. To, so on your way to Degard, you got to stop at the Tillamook okay. Cheese Factory. I would not. If I'm any place near there, yeah, that's going down. <laughs> Get yourself a grilled cheese and some soup. No fucking way. Then, really? Yeah, and then go to uh, Degard. Damn. And then yeah. after you're done there, yeah. there's a bitchin' little taco truck right outside of Degard. That's fucking awesome. So, yeah. Our last trip to uh, California, Alexander and Noel tried to like make his detour to san diego for some tacos a thousand times they were semi were they joking. drunk they were semi joking about were it they but they drunk? were serious <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure you know them so yeah they were were they you, you, you can probably answer that question yourself <laughs> yeah right <laughs> uh so the next one is one thing that should never be in a beer and this is gonna be really tough since you guys <laughs> i mean just celery root in a beer i guess uh i t- come on there's something I mean, people said glitter before. You make well, you've I, made no, three. Fuck you've made beer, three hundred yeah. beers. You must be something. You're like that doesn't belong in another beer we ever make. No, <laughs> good man. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. Fuck me. Good, made, good it, call. It made it, it, made it all worked. <laughs> right. it we, you problem? made it work. Yeah, we made it work. Uh, glitter, no, absolutely not. Yeah, glitter's nope. I'm not awful. okay with that. Cigar City just did it and it made me really mad. Really, they. Re- I didn't see wow. that. Wow, they made a glitter beer. Yeah, but they uh, they got bought they, out, right? They have obviously welcomed mm-hmm. their their evil overlords. I was say, they got bought out, so I haven't bought any cigar Sorry. in a while. Yeah. So yeah. What else we we've heard uh well somebody I actually said rocks before and I think somebody corrected me because they put rocks in beer? Yeah. They use it to boil I just the think, wort, maybe. I think there's oh, certain yeah. ingredients Stein beer. Right. I think there's certain ingredients that are just hard to work with and do well. Yeah. And I think peaches is one of them. Peaches mm-hmm. is hard to not I mean good peach sculpin, piece of shit. <laughs> Well, that's not real peaches. There you go. That's it's why I Jolly mean, Ranchers. It, it's yeah. fucking hard to do. Yeah. But you like go, said when you, you're uh, brewing pe- on that scale. The, what's the 12 West beer? Uh, Peach Among Worlds? Yeah. Love it. Yeah. That beer was Love awesome. it. Real peaches. That was really good. You know, so I just think I just think there's certain ingredients that are hard to do right. Yeah. I agree. We, ha- we have a big, I already gave one. big issue with peaches. No. Nope. Just like getting that flavor to come out properly. Yeah. Without nope. using extract and it tasting like a fucking candy. So yeah. Nate's on your side again now. I'm always on his side. Okay. Uh, lead. Co-owner. Yeah, Pressure, lead's Pressure. Pressure. probably not the best thing. Yeah, it's not good in beer. Um, somebody said... <laughs> Wait, Ooh, lead paint. Why That's not? A- Why not? Uh, shoe, <laughs> shoelaces? I'll put latex paint in beer all day, not lead paint. <laughs> I have standards. <laughs> Acrylic. Okay. It's water-based. It's uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, shoelaces, we heard. Yeah, shoelaces okay. is one. Yeah, that sucks. We want Hobo Joe shoelaces in our... Hobo. <laughs> in our beer. Hey, if it's hot side, I don't care. You can, oh, there you you go. can take a shit in the kettle. I just... In, in another one... Hop shit. You can think of hop I think shit I'll mention it every time we do this one. Uh, the uh, the the fuck Stone did those hot, those super hot beers. Oh yeah, like Prime oh, Prime and Punishment. Prime and Punishment. Yeah. Fuck both of those beers, <laughs> dude. Um, I loved Punishment. Oh, I thought it was great. I yeah. couldn't drink the crime, and I definitely couldn't do the Punishment, dude. The zero chance. I think two, I have a, two ounces, and my eyeballs were like melting out of the front of my face. I was so angry. I've never been yeah. angry when drinking a beer. <laughs> I was like, this is making me mad. Well, they, we talked talk about the, they had uh, they made pretzels with it at the the brewery. Yeah, and no, like, there's that's oh, cool. that, that was good. If yeah. you if you if you order milk when you order the that's pretzels, cool. it was free. But if you ordered it after, it was five bucks a glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> it was like touche. Thanks, Stone. That's yeah. fucked up. And it's like no refunds. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> it's like, hmm, what did you get? Uh, your favorite place to have a beer. You like that I just did there. What is your favorite place to have a beer? Oh, I didn't have the effects ready oh, for the second it. time. All right, hold on Sorry. one more time. Big open halls. <laughs> what is your favorite place to have a beer? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one with the effects on. So. I know, it's great. Okay, so uh, my question, is, or my answer to that question is, wherever there's good people hanging out. Friends, family. Yeah. Nice. I mean, like, going to Buddy's Breweries or Justin's Tap Room. No, yeah, I just talked to shit, a lot of shit about that guy, but I love him. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, there's nothing better than hanging out, wandering, and talking to those guys. Yeah, wandering love tortoise them. is great. Yeah. Yeah. Got Helton down the street. Rent yeah. house is right there. Kings is like, yeah, a few more blocks that yeah. way. 
you guys are very spoiled and it makes us very jealous and hateful. Yeah. We are ju- we are spoiled, although it is hard to get to Phoenix, even in from the East Valley, for the record. But you know what? Yeah. Even though that's probably like, well, again, you're probably like, I don't feel you there. I we, live in Flagstaff. Well, we say this. <laughs> <laughs> I walk here. Yeah, right. There you go. Well, that's what we say about like, you know, Tucson. Tucson has like this ability to like, you can just walk block to block and hit a bunch of different breweries. Yeah. It's amazing. Where Phoenix is like, I'm going to have to drink here and then get a ride to some other brewery across town and then another brewery. And Uber's another killing brewery. it down there. Right. Yeah. Have to oh, be. yeah. Big time. Big time. Or 10 City. Uh, 55. Good. Well, let's take another break and grab another beer then. I'm in. Or at least take a cool. break and do something. Well, I have one more question for <laughs> Rapid Round. Good. Well, you're going to have to cut this out then. So, go right ahead. <laughs> and Mark. <laughs> yeah. We'll get, it, qu- we'll get it in post. Last question on the Rapid Round. <laughs> 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 okay, no. <laughs> Where's the... <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 There you go. See? Yeah. I'm not turning it on. It is question. What's the next? Sorry. What's the next big trend in craft beer? <laughs> Fucking echo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah echo beers. <laughs> echo beer. Uh, hey, that's, that's a warm lounge effect, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> I really hope that it kind of stays where we're at right now. You know, very like local, like go to the spot and get a beer. I'm shocked like every day. Uh, like we tell people like, oh, there's a craft beer bar over there. Or there's a restaurant that has stuff. They're like, no, I want to go to the place that makes the beer. And like that just Come blows my in. mind. Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah, we I, we talked about this before. Like like Uber logo, like I I don't have, and it sucks. I, I love going to like, like GCM and, and mm. Bottle Shop 48 and some of those guys and, and Liquor Express. But like I really haven't gone in a long time just because there's so many places in the Valley that are like, releasing cans yeah. that uh, there's no reason to. I can just go yeah. right to the source and get the cans the day of. So it's like this, it's hard, but it's great too. Yeah. I love it. So yeah, that, and I guess like if you're going to like styles of beer, I would love to see like sour and wild and that sort of thing, like really break out and yeah, well, people yeah. actually learn what Non-stop. they are. Um, I need the, uh, my man. So. My man. My man. <laughs> <laughs> my man. I'm going home to have sex with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> love it so you know we were talking I mean and I think it's in the same vein of the question uh, you know it's sad to see places like Green Flash falling by the wayside do you think it's going to happen more this year do you see it only happening more uh, I see this year being pretty pretty interesting pretty, to yeah. say the least it's, it's, it's just when some place like Green Flash which is distributing out here like crazy that I mean their west coast IPA is awesome loved it uh, they ruined it they, did they really yeah, that shit used to be so good. I haven't tried it in forever. So. That was the beer that kind of sparked the idea to open this place. Really? Yeah, it was my. That was my. That's it's, my answer to my. You know, my beginning beer is. is it's the same with Lafrique. I would buy yeah. that stuff sight unseen. I see Lafrique, I buy it. And yeah. It, it just started getting worse and worse. There was a time when you saw that stuff, and people asked me like, "That West Coast when all they, day." When they changed the labels and started going, what are those like twenty? Yeah, that's right. either, Like yeah. eighteen, twenty the, ounce the, bottles. The yeah. Jai by PA and everything. Yeah. So I guess the the question we should ask before we go to break is what 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 was the beer you were drinking in the backyard when you guys came up with the idea for this place? Oh, so f- uh, funny story. It's a it was we were part of the homebrew club for like two weeks before we decided to just open our own place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so weeks. we were gonna brew. That's, uh, a, that's uh, was, I, Saison was the challenge. Um, so I think we had like a Lost Abbey beer, and then like something so else. Funny, man. Nice. Let's I, join the homebrew club. You know what? That's just kind of lame. Let's just skip this part. <laughs> just goes slam it forward. <laughs> that's so funny, man. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that passion, man. That's great. All right, guys. Let's get another beer. Yeah, let's do something. Sweet. All right. We are back. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Hey, you know what? We haven't done it in any other episode, so why not? It's like one of those vertigo nightmares you have, you know, where you wake up and you feel like you're upside down because it's like so loud in your head. Yeah. I just feel like that radio guy. Sunday, Sunday. You'll buy the whole seat, but you'll need the edge. (laughs) (laughs) Sunday, Sunday, Dark Sky Brewing. We use use it sparingly. That's true. Do we? I I haven't done it in any other episode. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So something I want to actually bring up earlier, but and uh, it just had recurred to me was uh, you guys actually did the cool ship with uh, a bunch of different people, right? Yep. Yeah. All our basically, we had this idea of doing some sort of a collaboration thing with the collaborates. Okay. Um, there was like seven or eight different breweries. Um, 
we ended up just ended up just drawing a picture and like drawing circles around everybody and like connecting all of them. Mm-hmm. And then I wrote cool ship, but it looked like cod ship. So that became the joke for a little while. Like, <laughs> we're just going to go fishing together. Nice. Uh, but yeah, it, it turned out great. Um, Noel hooked it up with the, the actual cool ship. Uh, Grand Canyon made the, the wart. Uh, Nick and I facilitated the location and we went out there and, uh, partied and got real drunk and mm. watched beer sit in the tub for 18 hours. Excellent. I think, no, I think we were in Noel when we actually, yeah, it sounds, man, it sounds exhilarating. It's a lot harder than it sounded. Okay. I'm not even kidding. That was, a, that was a heap of work for sure. <laughs> watched beer sit in the tank for 18 hours. Yeah. It was getting it out there. Think <laughs> yeah, about right. transporting 10 barrels worth of beer. Oh right? yeah. I wasn't saying like, and I doing that sanitary, I mean, sanitary, oh, sanitary. Fuck it. Dude, we're dragging. That's true. You're making a cool shit. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Never yeah. mind. You you're looking for that bugs. back. Yeah, you're looking for that. There was like beard hair. <laughs> Colby dropped well, some course. Sierra Nevada in it. <laughs> Perfect. Like, thanks, dude. You totally ruined it. <laughs> he totally ruined it. <laughs> it's paleo now. Uh, well, I think we were in a well. We got in there. The, um, the directions to where it was. It was like basically just GPS coordinates and then basically take a go here, take five lefts, take your first left, yeah. right kind of thing. It wasn't that bad. You go <laughs> straight down a road for 24.9 miles. And yeah, that, that, was, <laughs> that, was, that was the text. It was like 24.9 <laughs> miles. What the fuck? And it's like, this isn't that fucking difficult. No, it's not. I don't, <laughs> come on. 24.9 miles this way. <laughs> He's like, watch your odometer. <laughs> Like, get no, your no, phone out. No, to reset your trip meter. What are the lat longs on this bitch? That's what trip meter B's for. <laughs> Nobody uses that one. They rolled that yeah, van, that poor van out there, and they're like, man, the cool ship definitely caught air a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's great. Perfect. Uh, we were on break real quick, uh, shooting the ship. We also grabbed three beers for the uh, the uh, stouts that went on uh, pour for tonight, right? Correct. Indeed. We're actually drinking those. I have the one that was a collab with Ground Control. Uh, super good, by okay, the so way. We'll, we forgot the names a thousand times already. Yeah. Ryan, tell us what we're what, drinking. What's, what I'm you, drinking. You have Celio Escuro. Yeah. That's not my fault for forgetting that for the record. I have the coconut one. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhythm. All right, there we go. Feel the rhyme. It's bobsled time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I got this no. crazy cinnamon bomb. That is subduction. Very good. Excellent. I'm really, really, really enjoying it's this. So, so, so people that didn't see us I doing this during the break. I some like dessert. What? So Ryan pours the three beers. We literally trade them around back and forth. Until everybody and has what they like. And best. we're like, I will drink this one. I will drink this one. <laughs> yeah. We basically just kind of settled. It was very easy. Yeah. It was very nice. I was hoping punches were going to get thrown. So it worked <laughs> out really well. We've known each other for a long time. Really good, man. You guys, I mean, it, it's, it's so impressive what you guys can do up here. I want a big glass of that Celio Oscuro. Yeah, and some, I want. And some I'm tacos. I'm looking forward for this going on cans. Mm-hmm. Gonna be that, buying that, some that, that would saddle up with some tacos very nicely. Yeah. Indeed. Oh. I want a scoop of ice I cream. I want a piece of pie, dude. Honestly, I, I maybe feel like, like a, a like a churro. Ooh, I was churro gonna say like an cream. apple, like a nice apple pie, dude. Yeah. Churro, uh, whatever, dude. We call that. Uh, this is good. I'm loving this. Not apple fritter, I but really. Uh, am. And I'm so hit or miss on stouts. I have a really hard time with barrel aged stuff and, yeah. and bourbon barrel and whiskey barrel. I have, that's no barrel at all. Which I have is a, nice. Exactly, so that's and, a straight up stout and, right now. So I love that stuff. Man. So it, so the story goes with that beer is uh, that shitty hotel I spoke of. <laughs> During strong beer, uh, we actually popped this beer called Abraxas, made by Perennial. Yes, I, I have my fridge right now. That is mm-hmm. the beer that like we tried to model after that. Like as soon as I tasted it, I was like, wow. I want that. Yeah, <laughs> I want to make that. It's so good. Nice. Yeah, I love it, man. I'm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting all I'm getting all emotional over here. Yeah, it wasn't important. Just keep your Jeff's pants on, on man. Keep yeah. your pants on. Jeff's no, on his phone. No guarantees. Uh, yeah, I'm listening. When I was in Portland, <laughs> this last bullshit. Time here, you're getting. You're getting. <laughs> You're getting emotional. I got it. <laughs> okay, You're always right. emotional. You caught the last thing. All right. <laughs> so when I, when I was in Portland, I actually was at a bottle shop and they actually had a bottle of it. And I was just like, yep, that's coming home with me. Did you go to beer mongers? No, I, I was, I wanted to, but I went to, uh, I can't think of the name of it now. It was, it was actually, it was like North. We, we went to some ice cream place up there that our friends that live there were like, you have to go to this ice cream place. And then like right down the street, there was, it was actually right down the street from uh, great notion. Oh, okay. So yeah. I, I can't remember the name of that place was, but it was, it was a craft beer bar slash bottle shop. Cool. It was really fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, I actually, Bought some other perennial stuff at beer mongers. It was like they had a whole stack out of a Braxis. I'm like, I was told beer nerd. I'm like, fuck, had that shit or it. Nobody's looking. You just like grab like, yeah. like a handle. Fuck that shit. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like Portland is ridiculous. It is hard. It is great. It's out of hand. We have friends that live there now, so it's there. You go. Fucking awesome. Yeah, that's helpful. They have Pine State biscuits right across the street from beer mongers. So you okay. go there, you get your your biscuit. Pine State biscuits. 
I'm not joking. <laughs> that is the it is the best place I believe ever. I and then beer mongers is right across the street. Right. Some of the most ridiculous beers I've seen in one fridge in my entire life. I was Sun, like, really? mine was blown. Suddenly That's I have awesome. a mighty need yeah. for a biscuit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I had a biscuit, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich on the way here. It's funny. Not I, satisfied. I was, I, was, I was sad that I actually was didn't it from get, Whataburger? get to beer mongers <laughs> when I was nice. there. Now I'm really sad <laughs> that I didn't yeah. get there. So. You fool. Thank you. Do yourself a favor, and I, I cannot remember for the life of me the name of this biscuit, but it's got uh, chicken fried steak, cheese, and then apple butter on top of it, and then they cover the whole thing in gravy. Oh, have what are mercy. some? Of, what are your? What are some of your other favorite restaurants to travel to? <laughs> when you're Welcome to Food Talk Radio. Wow, wow man, talk. I'm sold. Yeah, that's that stuff was. Yeah, fucking awesome. That well, sounds amazing. Awesome. No, killer man. That sounds fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck people in Portland. You guys are way too lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seriously, love Portland. I, I have no clue. You I, I, conversation. I could get involved in that food conversation all day. So I, I just, I'm extremely thankful you've had us out here, man. It's yeah. uh, been a great episode and full of great beer. It's going to be an awesome night. So, uh, oh, cool. Shit. I'm just talking about cool shit. That's yeah, cool. we were talking about that cool shit. But uh, yeah, I'm just, well, super, what is, I'm just super, super thankful to be here. What does is, what is 2018 have in store? I mean, you guys come up with all this crazy shit. You guys do 100 beers a year. What's, what's 2018 have in store? I think year three, we figured out like who we were and what worked, what didn't. So uh, we're going to kind of go down the path of like making the same beers over again. Um, still experiment. Cause that's what we do. Um, we have fun with it. I've got a fooder now we've got sour barrels. Like that's what I'm really excited to start showing people like what we've learned with that part. Uh, real wild and woody this year is going to be, uh, going to be banging. Yeah. We're going to be there for yeah, sure. We've got, that's some, my favorite festival. We're going to pull the strong beer tactic and bring like 15 different beers and see if you guys can drink all of them. In nice challenge accepted. <laughs> Be there. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'll have another six month old with me. If, if we ever needed effects, it right. was a, for a that. Month, a one month old. I brought my one month old to that. He did. It was awesome. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Zero wrong with Got that. It. My Got wife was free. happy about it. Everybody was good. Yeah. Slept the whole time. Got in for free. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And she was free. <laughs> no, I'm to the point in the episode where I've got nothing but, uh, you know, saying how much I love Dark Sky Brewing and Ryan. So I'm pretty much it. He's gonna I've had up. too much beer and good times. He's going to come around the hype. I'm just very happy. I love you guys, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm just happy at this point. You guys are like one of the biggest breweries in the Valley that's not in the Valley. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of the running joke. And actually, like, talking 2018, like, that's been a serious conversation for us to, like, open a place down there. Yeah. Just simple tasting room, nothing crazy. Yes, um, yes please. Yeah, I, I think I think you guys are incredibly smart to think, think to yourself you don't want to do another brewery, but, man... The way the valley clamors for you guys, I can't imagine that tap room would not be slammed right. nonstop. Yeah. Well, it's like if, especially if, like you said, just small. If yep. I could go Super out on small. a limb and just like say, you know, two breweries that the Phoenix market is dying for that aren't from Phoenix are yeah. Pueblo Vita from the south and you guys from the north, yeah. straight up. Yeah, I mean, you could guys, you imagine you guys a couple of just tasting rooms? PV will never do it, but man, you guys, we'd love to see you guys down I mean, there. We, we, love we, we love the business aspect of it, so that's kind of like our next. We'll convince Logical Kyle. Logical step is... Uh, oh, that's yeah, a, come there, that puts please. such a nice warm feeling inside of me. Yeah. So the <laughs> idea is like we kind of want to do it to where it's like a collaborative thing. You know, yeah. like have our friends on tap with us because oh, obviously yeah. we can't make enough beer to supply it. So there's a, I was going to say, it's going to be hard <laughs> enough for you guys to get all those beers down there. But still, just yeah. to have a dark sky brewing tap room where, where you can go and Mountains Mosaic Mosaic's going to be on tap. Yeah. Some specials might be on tap. Right. Re can releases can get assorted down there. Exactly. So we have a hard time getting through our can releases up here because we're so far away from everybody. Right. So down there, it would just, we would just yeah, send a shipment down, down there, there and they will Gone that day. fly yeah. off the shelf. Yeah. In a day. In That's a day. People appreciate it, man. People appreciate how small you guys are and how you do it in small batch. There's no way that that stuff's just not like you did at King's King's Convenience. Those yeah. four packs gone. were gone. It was a second. I mean, we yeah. went there. They're like the guys are like, we worked here, dude. We weren't getting any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't happening. Yeah. So I just think it's super impressive. So from a selfish standpoint, uh, there's way too many antique stores in downtown Mesa. So feel free to kick yeah, one of those out. Just grab okay. one of those guys. <laughs> please, please get rid of the, some of those. And then just moving down there. Just circling. Just Real circling. estate's so pretty cheap over there, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's still. We dabbled in Gilbert for a second. Mm. And realized that wasn't happening. No, Don't do it's it. Gilbert. Yeah. yeah. Don't on do the, that. On the address. Don't, Don't do, do it. I live near there. Don't do that. Yeah. I, Mesa, you know, some place yeah. where all your people can get to you, man. I mean, it's just like. I, I think 12 West will be taking over a spot in, near uh, Cider Core there in, oh, uh, cool. in Mesa soon. We're actually going to be down there next weekend. We're doing a, an event at the Tortoise. Oh, nice. We're going to have all three of these barrel-aged beers on tap. See you there. 
Yeah. yeah that's but awesome. yeah, we get to, well, we're finally going to go check out Cider Corn. Those guys are awesome. And that's a cool little yeah. area. It's, it's neat. Yep. It's coming yeah. I have to hope Mesa kind of is build its way up but. yeah it's 30 it's still 30 it's you know it'll be 20 minutes for me but i can you can tell that's just a cool area so anyway so, so real quick uh what events do you have coming up ryan to to promote uh, to wandering masses? tortoise on the 12th we're doing pretty small tap takeover nice. um beyond that it'll I be th- packed nuts think, to butts yeah, oh, yeah most likely it always is in there mm-hmm. uh after that uh i would say made in the shade up here uh we don't pour there but we're we have collaborative efforts to uh, have our own event. Perfect. Not festival, but we're going to do a big tap take over hops with all our buddies. And awesome. We're calling it Paid in the Shade. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Love it. Very cool. Um, and then Real Wild and Woody. We're, and then we're right in the middle of summer. So Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, I can't wait for Real Wild. So if people want to find more information about the brewery itself or follow you guys on social media, where should they go? Get your uh, active hours for a day. Right? Yeah. F- Facebook is definitely our number one uh, most reached place. Um, our website is normally updated. <laughs> <laughs> he, put, he put air quotes here. Okay, so <laughs> well, like our, our menus change every day. Yeah, so I was going to say. Keep up with that. But that uh, yeah, uh, don't try to call here. We turned our phone off because it's really annoying and disruptive. Yeah. Makes sense. There um, you go. Just, so what, that's Facebook? just on Facebook or email. Yeah. You know, whatever. So it's just it's actually, done. is it just facebook.com slash dark sky brewing? Yep. Or Get off your ass and come in here and find out what they have. Yeah, I was going to say, on. just drive your ass up here and do it. Exactly. Uh, There's always something good on tap, God yeah. damn it. Instagram as well. You guys are Instagram. I've yep. Yeah, Instagram is good. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. Perfect. Just get on the get on the internets. The yes. interwebs. There. Dark underscore underscore sky underscore brewing. I believe it is. Dang, you nailed it. Yep. Wow, I, I forget know. it sometimes. Boom. Jeez. I was just on there doing research. So. <laughs> That's not true. Research. Air, quotes. Yeah, air quotes. Air quotes. Uh, Nate, where can people find us? And it's you can media. find us on at hoppy at hoppy craftsman on Instagram. Same for Facebook, and you can find us on the web at hoppycraftsman.beer. Excellent. And Jeff, who are the reddest fucking people in the world? Reddest fucking people in the world are our Patreon supporters. Number one, Cena Gomez. Two, our good friends, San Diego Beer Talk Radio, uh, Javier Gonzalez, Mark Ballesteros, and Phil Mitchell Wall. These are our Patreon supporters. These guys contribute to our podcast every month. We appreciate every penny we get because, believe it or not, running a podcast is kind of expensive. So cheers to you guys for helping us out every month. Cool. It's, that, it's that craft beer money, yo. It's <laughs> making it rain over here. So if you want to be a craft beer su- pot supporter of this actually podcast, you go to, was it, patreon.com? www.patreon.com. Lots lots of W's. Patreon.com forward slash hoppy craftsman. Excellent. Donate early, donate often. Thanks again, Ryan. Thank you, guys. Cool. Well, as always, I'm Chris. I'm Nate. I'm Jeff. Drink local. Later, guys.